Hello friends, welcome to my tutorials of hybrid automation technologies. This is your friend Vilas Patil here. Today we are going to learn how to upload, means uh, take uh, take the program present in a MicroLogic 1000 analog PLC to the computer. Okay, before going to the software part, let's check the hardware connection and input connection of the PLC and uh, which uh, uh, programming cable we are using. Okay. Using uh, analog PLC that is MicroLogic 1000 analog PLC, and we can check the input and output ratings here also. Here you can check the input is of uh, 24 DC and output is of relay or relay output type. Here you can check input 24 DC and relay output at the analog side. In the input plus or minus 10 volt DC or plus or minus 20 milliamps, and at the output or analog output side 4 to 20 milliamps uh, current we are getting, or in voltage type 0 to 10 volt we can get. Okay, we can use uh, analog inputs uh, for uh, PLC of uh, current type or uh, voltage type. Uh, whose rating should be 0 to 10 volt if it is voltage type or uh, uh, 4 to 20 milliamps if it is current type hello friends let's check here uh, here at the one side this uh, round connector is there At the PC side, RS two thirty port is there, and here at this side, we are connecting AC power supply, phase and neutral, and at this side, plus twenty four volt and negative terminal, and similarly negative to the common ports also. Okay, here you can see, and one terminal here I have taken from positive side to trigger the input. Here you can check the input and output uh, status of LED. Okay, it is working well and fine. Now let's check the software side here. Now let's uh, go through the software part here. Okay, we must have this software to be installed in the PLC uh, computer. That is RS Logix 500 English and RS Links Classic. Let's open these both softwares. Better you run these softwares in uh, admin, admin mode because RS Links Classic uh, may not work in some operating system or some computers. Okay, check here. Uh, click on uh, configure driver and click on RS232 because we are using the RS232 port for uh, programming the PLC and click add new. Okay, now here it is uh, Alan Bradley DF1 uh, name already it is taken. You can put any name, just don't uh, use uh, special characters like uh, backward slash, forward slash, and don't put any space here. Okay, now click OK. By default, it will take a COM1 as a serial port uh, to which the PLC is connected. If you are using any USB, uh, sorry, RS232 USB converter, uh, if you are using any laptop, <coughs> then you can uh, select the proper port and click on auto configure. Auto configuration is successfully done and click OK. Now here it is, the driver is running successfully. Now we can close this and you can check here. 
our computer and uh, PLC both are connected here. Workstations. Now go to RS Logix Finder English and click on Tools, Options, System Communications. Here you have to select the driver here. Now click on Go Active. Okay, here it is. You have to select the Micrologix option and log PLC and click OK. Now we have not created any program here, that's why the download button is disabled. Just upload, we can upload the uh, program from PLC to PC. Click upload. Now you click on the create new file. After creating a new file, it will ask whether you will go for uh, online or not. Okay, I will click yes. Okay, here I am uh, triggering externally the inputs. Let's check whether it will work or not. You can see here externally, externally I am triggering the inputs. Okay. Okay. Now it is working. Let's check the uh, harder side also. Again, I will trigger this input here. Okay. It's working well and fine. Okay, if you want to take the backup of, backup of this uh, program, go to online, just save this uh, program for backup of course. Okay, okay friends, thank you for watching my video and keep watching my video and please like, subscribe and uh, feel free to comment on the video and uh, keep sharing and keep motivating me for sharing these such videos. And thank you for watching.